Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 23 of the Pal World series. And for today's episode, I suppose we'll just continue working toward our base upgrade missions. Because we have but the one base upgrade to go, in terms of upgrades that actually do anything. After this, there's not much point in doing their little quests here. But that means I think we need another three levels or so? Yeah, I think it's three levels. We need to make a weapon assembly which is seemingly quite a few levels from now, actually. Where in the world is the weapon assembly? Let's see, what's the other thing? High quality hot spring weapon assembly. Oh, level 32. So we need three more levels. That could be doable. For now, however, I think we should check the incubator. See what kind of goodies we've got cooking up here. Where's my ass? Right here. Gonna swing it at this tree. This thing comes back every time I play. And I don't know why. Let's go ahead and crack this egg open and see what's in there. Fox sparks. Hmm. Would have been better scrambled. We'll put another egg inside, which is only about five minutes away. It's not too bad. Let's pay a visit to the other base, because I think we could use an extra stockpile of arrows. We're lacking a little bit. Or at least getting a little bit lower. I get the feeling this is going to lead to an insane amount of pal spheres. We're gonna have to dump some of them just because of their weight. Yeah, we're probably going to have to dump some of them. <laughs> I'll never get over the wonderful sound of picking up hundreds of items all at once. Not many things can make you much happier than loot. Mmm, loot. That's the sound of happiness right there. Free loot and I didn't have to do anything to earn it. <laughs> it sounds insane. It'd be nice if they didn't dump their things on the outside of the ranch as well, but can't ask for too much. How's this thing looking? Oh yeah, they're fine. They still got berries and other things. Apparently we have to craft a bed though. I don't understand why. Should already have beds here. But oh well, we'll just drop another one. Bed type, but like, not the kind where you lay down. Right about there should do. And I should have more sect. Was he capable of crafting? I don't remember. Let me check. Seems a little big to be doing things like that. Right, he's got level 1 crafting. I guess we'll stick with using the Petalia for crafting then. And now, apparently there's a boss that we never defeated, so I guess we'll target that. Anything to give us more technology points. Oh, okay, I'm being attacked before I can even load in. <laughs> That's not good. Let's get on our dog, and I guess we're heading sort of southwest-ish. Ouch, ouch, ouch again. I mean, they don't do much damage, but they're definitely annoying. Pess, if you will. Is that a robin quill? It sounded like a robin quill. I'm good. Get away. Get away from the robin quill. Not interested. My goal is this boss, which I think is right down this way. Let me check the map again. Yeah, it should be right over here. Should be. Is it down this way? No, that's just a empty plane. It's a, oh, there it is. Just kind of out in the open. Understood. Let's take this robin quill out first. Don't need this thing getting in the way. I'm sure I can handle at least one of these. Ouch. Yeah, easy peasy. Just use your skills interchangeably. Now the hard part is going to be dealing with this thing. I figured out at this point that fighting the bosses is best with me not riding my creatures. Now let's start out with the war sect and see how that goes. Oop, dog already started it off. This is interesting. Definitely have to try and catch this thing. Could be a strong flyer. I'm assuming you can ride it, and I'm assuming it can fly, but we'll see. If so, we'll have to take to the sky. But... What are you trying to do? Hit me with an AoE? Nah, dog. You stay over there. So far, the war sect is doing alright. It does seem fairly tanky. The plus sign is that it's weak to fire, but its special ability also makes it resistant to fire, so it doesn't take as much damage from it. Ouch. Well, I guess I can take at least one hit to the face. That's a plus. Oh, okay. He's summoning tornadoes. Ouch, and they hurt a lot. Is that a bird? Is that bird attacking me? Why? Why is there a bird? I missed. It's a surprisingly small bird. I have to just kill this thing, I guess. I'm not particularly worried about catching it. It's attacking my war sect. Alright, send out the next creature. My war sect is kind of getting bopped. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Looks like my bird was stronger. Ooh, I'm just taking a lot of these hits when I don't need to. Oh crap, here comes another one of those birds. I don't know why they keep involving themselves. You know what? Can I catch this thing? 11%? That's okay. I'll just let my Nightwing handle the fight while I try to catch this bird thing. 12% now. Must have gotten hit. 
You'd think this was a boss fight or something, but nah. Uh, let's get the dire howl out. The night wing is starting to get a little low on health. Oh crap, here comes another one of those tornadoes. No oh, barrel roll. Ouch, still got hit. Rough life. Think I might have to use a better sphere. This is gonna take forever. This damn Gale Claw just doesn't want to stay in. Oh, the Alpha Dren's almost wasted too. Drawing the dog. Oh, watch it. See if we can catch it with normal spheres. 0.03% chance to catch. Oh, we got the Gale Claw, that's a plus. Alright, Giga Spheres it is. 14% is not great. We'll keep hitting it with one crossbow bolt every time it breaks out. At least until it gets down to about 20 health, should be good. Because I only do about 17 damage. Gotta break out again? Of course you are. Come on, you only hit it about one more time. Yeah, we'll stop there. And now it's just a matter of whether or not it wants to stay in before I use up all of my gigaspheres. Those are the only ones I have outside of the standard balls. 15% is a pretty good rate. At least I think. Oh, looks like we got him. Two shakes and it's over. Alpha Dread. Looks like this one has the swift passive ability too, so it'll be faster if we can ride it. If we can ride it though, I'm not really certain. I haven't checked. But that means we have more technology points. The purple points. The only other method I know of for getting those... Oh, it takes three for the next set of things technologies. But the only thing I can think of that can also give the technology points would be finding dungeons out in the open world, which I'm sure is a great idea. Cinnamoth. Might as well catch one of these. They're only level 19 after all. Just hit it with this fire breath. Yeah, oop, I didn't want to use a gigasphere. That was a waste and a half. But I guess we've got it. Free moth. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the nearest teleport area. Fast travel point or whatever. Let's catch some bristles too. Wow, that almost killed it. 16%? Sure, I've got the patience. You will be mine. Shouldn't take too many tries. I mean, 16%? It's a pretty high number to me. If you've experienced the old Pokemon games, then you're used to having these kind of catch rates. Worse, even. Try to catch one Ho-Oh with a normal Pokeball? Hooey. You're in for quite a ride. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the base and see what that Alpha Dren thing is about. Hopefully it's strong. It was a boss creature after all. Wait, this isn't my base. <laughs> I don't know why I keep traveling back to that point. Here we are. Now let's take a peek at what we got. Elphadren. Elphadren right here. All it can do is two woodcutting, which is not great. However, might be a good replacement for the Nightwing. If we're going to have two flyers in our team, I get the feeling the Elphadren is going to be superior. But we're going to have to find the saddle for it, which could be a process. Who knows what level they want you to be for that? Well, I guess we're about to find out, and we'll be the ones who know. Elphadren. Ah, oh, it's the same as the Van Worm, weirdly enough. And the requirements are pretty light. The only problem, of course, being that it's probably going to take several eternities for it to craft. Let's go ahead and get the Patalia on the craft for that. I think that's the fastest I'm going to get. And, while we're at it, crack this egg. Apparently it's been about five minutes. Didn't feel that long. We got a Capriti, but I guess we never have to catch any more of those. So, that's cool, I suppose. Pop in this next Scorching Egg. I guess I have to dump some things in my inventory. I barely over- oh, no. Oh, I just drew the Patalia back in. Getting confused. It's been a moment since I played. I'm suffering from encumbrance. There we go. That fixed most of it. Whatever was in that chest. What are we doing over here? Well, we need 11 of those Lifmonk effigies before we can do anything. I'm curious how much of the wheat we've gotten. Not too much, 120. I was hoping for more, but we have an insane amount of berries. Loads and loads of berries. Let's go ahead and collect this flower and set up more to be crafted. It's the only purpose of wheat, after all. Might as well take the Paldium too. We are running low on Gigaspheres. We're gonna have to craft some more. Get some of that good stuff. Giga up here. Actually, let's check the Sphere Assembly line, which I don't believe is on the second floor. Pretty sure I crafted. Yes, I did. This is a Sphere Assembly line. Hyperspheres. All we would need is cement. We have enough of everything else. The ingots actually would be a bit of an issue, but still probably worth crafting them. I have some cement being crafted down here. I believe it's at 120, 130 have it crafted so far. Oh, the saddle's done. That was fast. In that case, put the Patelli over here. And screw it, we'll set more cloth to be crafted. After we make ourselves a hip lantern. That could be good. Yeah, I'll let the pals craft that. Oh, I am just beyond encumbered. I think it's because I picked up like 200 cloth. Nope, it's the cement. Poor substitute. This is exceptionally heavy. <laughs> so 
intensely over encumbered. What if I actually know I'm holding enough that I should be able to just split the stack, drop it. There we go. Much better. Should be able to carry the rest now. Yeah, that's the stuff. We'll get the rest put into a chest. And now we should be able to... Actually, wait, no. This needs electricity. Damn. I have to remove something from the base and add in an electric creature. Hmm, what should we remove? Maybe one of the Tombats? Yeah, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have one less Tombat. We'll find the worst one. I mean, we have a pacifist. I guess we could get rid of that. It doesn't really matter. And then we need something with electricity. Probably just go with the tried and true spark it. Because when it's not charging the electricity thing, the generator above, it will help with crafting. Now, hopefully this doesn't take too long. If it starts charging this, can I... Yes, I can immediately start crafting my balls. How many can I make? Just 20? Really? Why? Is it the wood? It is the wood. Okay, let's do ourselves a favor and collect some of that from over here. I'm assuming they've got at least a bit of wood. Only 80? Wow. Let's get all of this stuff and put it in a chest. Interesting. So they haven't been collecting very much wood. That's too bad. Perhaps it's because they're too occupied with all of this. Once we have, I'll say about 5,000 berries, we'll probably remove at least three of the plantations, but for now it's for the best to keep them there. Which means I may have to just get the wood myself, old school style. I mean, this one's punching through my base anyway, so we should get rid of it. No need to have... What the? Oh, I'm climbing the tree. I got confused for a moment because I grabbed onto it. No need to have trees punching through the bottom of our base. Not sure there's a benefit to that. It's been a while since I've had to collect my own resources. Oh, God. Imagine having to do your own work instead of hiring the plebeians to do it for you. What a truly terrible life I live. Manual labor with these soft hands. Oh, I'll probably take down two more trees and then see how many we can craft. I think 60 spheres, at least the hyper spheres, should probably be enough. Oop. Latched onto another tree. Screw it. There's one more tree nearby. We'll take this one out too, and then we'll head back. There we go. Go ahead and hop on our van worm and go up. Well, that's interesting. You can jump on the birds. So if I'm landed here, I can tap space and I jump. This is a little hop right here that I'm doing. And then I double tap space. That makes me fly. Strange. I don't know what he does at the base, but oh, I guess... Yeah, he does fire things, so that's cool. Hyperspheres. How many can I make now? 46. Hmm. I still need more wood. Well, I'll at least set those up to be crafted for now. It looks like the assembly line itself doesn't craft anything. Like, it won't naturally produce these. It has to have the pals at it. Like the robin quills, which are on their way. Looking like a pack of Power Rangers. Specifically the green one. Oh, there we go. Now they're on the craft. Interesting. So the resource I'm still lacking is wood. I might have to go and get more. It is far quicker for me to get it than to rely on them getting it. What is that? A crevice? <laughs> well, it was a crevice. My van worm wasn't having that in the slightest. You know what I could do? Let's go ahead and send my war sect out right here. You get that tree, I'll get this one. That's the power of teamwork, baby. This is the kind of stuff that makes the dream work. Yeah, I take out five trees, you take out one. Based on our size, it should be the other way around, but hey, who am I to complain? Just a little bit more wood. Apart from the Alpha Dran, I suppose it is a bit of a harvesting episode. But actually, oh, I can't ride this thing? That's too bad. I was hoping I could. Let's go ahead and try to glide across here. Oh, I see a chest in the distance. Let's grab that. It's been a while since I've been on foot. Let's grab this chest, get some pal souls. Not bad. And beat up a few more trees. We'll try to at least fill up our carry weight worth, and then we'll head back. Whatever amount of spheres we can craft from that, that's where we'll stop. By default, I had 130 cement, which means I should have at least enough for, that's what, 65 crafts? Yeah, 65. So this should be more than enough wood to make up the difference. Once we're done here, perhaps we'll go around and catch any pals that we don't already have 10 of. We could pay a visit to the bosses, the ones that have already been defeated, matter of fact, since they're on a daily reset. Let's go ahead and fly back to the base real quick. Set the rest of these spheres to craft. Let's see, grab these, cancel the rest. Oh, let's get that last bit of cement there. There you go. And now craft 56. That appears to be the limit, which is fine. We shouldn't have to use it. Ooh. This egg is done. Keep forgetting that because I have two fire sources, they go quick. A ruby, which appears to just be a 
sort of standard fire tier creature. Looks smaller. Now we have a dark egg on the way. I don't think we have too many more. We just have the ones in these chests. Oh, I guess we do have quite a few. Whoopsie. <laughs> these pals make some pretty interesting noises, that's for sure. Huh. Lantern is done. Go ahead and grab that. And I am curious exactly how fast this Alpha Dren is. So if we hop on this, on the ground, it's actually pretty quick. Almost matches the wolf speed. Then Airborne, yes, it can fly and oh, wow, this thing, this thing kind of Tokyo drifts. All right, cool. Runs out of stamina fast, but Tokyo drifts. Pretty good. If I stand, no, I have to dismount to fast travel. That's okay. Gotta get my torch equipped. And we actually will start with the Chalette, which is right near the base. Where's the Alpha Dread? Stop it. It's not time to woodcut. Whoa, oh, okay. I just teleported through my base to mount that thing. Did it with a quickness. Let's go ahead and cross this bridge and catch ourselves a Chalette. This thing. Oh, it's asleep. You have to be careful not to eliminate the thing in a single attack. Hmm. What would be my weakest hit? Left click? Yeah, seems like that's the one to go with. Mystic Whirlwind. I think this is the tornadoes that it was using on me. Hopefully it doesn't go. I was gonna say hopefully it doesn't kill anything, instead it just proceeded to do nothing. Sea attack, flare arrow, not bad. I think I'm gonna remove that Mystic Whirlwind once I get another ability. Because it kind of sucked. Let's use this. And now it's pretty low on health, we'll use the crossbow to finish up the rest of it. One more hit to the body. There we go. Sphere time. Now we gotta get that torch equipped again because we're taking cold damage. Unpleasant. There we go. We have three. We need to catch seven more. Next up, I guess we'll go for this thing. The King Paka. The easiest way to do that is to fast travel to the nearest, well, fast travel location. And then travel to the nearest point for the Paka. Oop, I just picked up a bunch of ore. Good thing it didn't over encumber me. Dismount the Alpha Dram and let's see, where's the nearest location of the Paka? Right here. A small settlement that we head northwest. We want to get 10 of everything to maximize the XP. And it seems like the amount that we get, even for catching things that are lower tier, still give us a surprising amount of XP. Uh, is this the proper direction? No. North. We want to head northwest, not southwest. Wow, this thing is nice and quick. I do like this. Let's keep going. Where's the P.E.K.K.A.? Here, P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. Oh, there it is. Along with some Melpacas, so we can probably catch those too. Let's take a quick peek at the Alpha Dread. It does have other abilities. Go ahead and replace the Mystic Whirlwind. Go ahead and dismount and remount to get a reset with Dragon Cannon, the generic attack. This one. Yeah. Blasted. Try to not kill. Okay, there we go. Start throwing spheres. This thing should be easy enough to catch. Yeah, easy enough. Come on, just stay in the sphere. There we go. No? Okay. Wanna play hard to get? That's it. Join the slaves. I mean the friends. Try to catch this P.E.K.K.A. Should be pretty easy. It's only level 20 after all. Basically just going to face tank it and hope for the best. I get the feeling this thing can take quite a few hits. And I know I've got my armor so I can too. Ouch. Too bad I can get staggered so easily. That's the only problem. Yeah, this thing is actually pretty healthy, this P.E.K.K.A. Well, that move might actually hurt a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but still hurts. You know what? I will dismount so that the Alpha Dran can do its own thing while I don't ruin the durability of my armor because that costs a lot of ingots to repair. I'd rather just Dark Souls it and roll everything. It does pretty well. I think I drained almost half of its health while I was on the back of it, so this isn't a true contest of what it can do on its own. I basically forced it to face tank. Now well, the pack is targeting me, mostly. It should be able to dish out quite a bit of damage. Altogether, the Alpha Dran seems to have quite a big HP pool. Maybe that's kind of what its stats are supposed to lean toward. Come on. Almost down. Just a little bit more to go, buddy. We're gonna be friends whether you want to or not. Okay, now we draw the Alpha Dren in and spheres. 48%. It's actually better than I expected. Oh, I'm using the Giga Spheres, that's why. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and head back to a quick travel point. Avoid the random humans just moonwalking into that wall. As with any good bug, your best bet is to just not look directly at it. Now we'll head right on back home. And this has been episode 23 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.